Grade 7 math number 6.4a, solving two-step equations. Just as with one-step equations, we can use inverse operations to solve two-step equations. With 2w minus 20 equals 180, we see the minus 20, so we add 20 to each side. That's the first thing we do. So what's going to happen is this is going to become a zero pair. If we have negative 20 and we add 20, it's going to meet at zero, isn't it? So now our equation says 2w equals 200. Well, because 2w means to multiply 2 times w, the inverse operation to get rid of this 2 would be to divide. So we're going to divide both sides by this 2. 2 divided by 2 makes a 1, the numerator and denominator are the same. So that's 1w, 200 divided by 2 is 100. So w equals 100, see? Now we got to make sure that we add or subtract first and then isolate the variable from its coefficient. So we know that w equals 100 because we just did it. But if we don't add or subtract first, if we try dividing by this 2 first, the answer is going to be wrong. If we have 2w minus 20 equals 180 and we divide both sides of the equal sign by the 2, that's going to isolate the w. It's going to turn into a 1w, right? Then we're going to have w minus 20 equals 90 because 180 divided by 2 is 90. Now when we go to add the 20 to each side, the w is going to equal 110. See? So no, no, no. We have to do our addition and subtraction first and then worry about the variable and its coefficient. We do those last, okay? So step one would be to add or subtract to get rid of that number, and then step two would be to get rid of the coefficient next to the variable. So Bob has three dogs and they're all the same age, and he has an eight-year-old cat. The combined ages total 23. How old are the dogs? Well, it says he has three dogs that are all the same age, right? So that's three times the dogs. And then there's an eight-year-old cat, so that's three times the dogs plus the eight for the eight years of the cat, and their total is 23. So our equation ends up becoming 3D for dogs plus the eight equals 23. Now, if we subtract the years of the cat from each side, that's going to give us the three dogs will equal 15. We divide both sides by 3, and we see that the dogs are 5 years old each. See? Two-step equation. First we subtracted, then we divided. All right, here's one that's a little bit tougher, so I need you to pay close attention, okay? Six more than the quotient of a number and four is 14. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, six more means plus six, right? So we know this part already. Quotient is the answer in division, so it's going to have division. The quotient of a number and four. So what would be the quotient of a number and four? Well, that means the quotient of a number and then the four is going to be divided by that, isn't it? So the quotient of a number in 4 would be x over 4. And 6 more than that would be x over 4 plus 6. And it says that it is 14. So is is equal, and then we've got the 14. So that's our equation. x over 4 plus 6 equals 14. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this 6. We subtract 6 from both sides, and we get x over 4 equals 8. Now, a lot of you can just say, oh, well, we multiply 4 times 8 and get 32, and we know that x is 32. But in the world of algebra, we need to solve this the correct way, okay? To get our brains thinking in the algebra way. So, as we said in a couple of videos ago, there's an invisible 1 in front of a variable. That's not just an x, that's a 1x. So, x over 4 is the same thing as saying 1 fourth x. See? It's 1 fourth x. So we rewrite it as 1 fourth x, and now what we can do for our step two is multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 
to isolate the x. So the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. And we multiply the 8 by 4 over 1 also. Well, 4 times 1 is 4, and 1 times 4 is 4. So this creates a 1, because the numerator and denominator are the same. 8 times 4 is 32 over 1, and 32 over 1 is 32. See? So yes, I know, we could have just multiplied these and gotten the 32, but in algebra, we need to go a little step further to prove and show our, our work. So we wrote, rewrote this as 1 fourth x. See? Now, if you don't understand that invisible 1, my advice is to go back to a couple videos to 6.2b and watch my video about the invisible 1 and the lonely variable. Okay? It'll help you. All right, we're going to talk about solving two-step equations with negative numbers next. So, I'll see you there. Bye.